What is going on guys? The first ever UEFA Nations League season has come to an end. That's it. No more Nations League until after Euro 2020. And to be fair, the last four matches in Portugal were quite nice. They all had their moments, they all had their highlights. Let's go through them. In the first semi-final, as you know, there was the host Portugal against the outsider Switzerland. Portugal were as host as strong favorites in this game, but Switzerland were not to be bitten that easily and they showed that over and over when they had their chances they really fought in that match. Unfortunately for them in Portugal's team there was one Cristiano Ronaldo who just fired a free kick in the first half. You just can't do anything about that. Nevertheless Switzerland kept fighting and Seferovic hit the crossbar a few minutes after Ronaldo's goal and they went 1-0 to the halftime. But after the halftime though it was really interesting. So imagine this, you are Switzerland, you have a really crucial attack in the opposite penalty box. One of your players gets fouled, there's no penalty, Portugal goes on the counter-attack, they get fouled, they get a penalty. What do you do? <laughs> of course, this VAR nowadays, the referee checked it out and gave the penalty for Switzerland, which was really crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. Ricardo Rodriguez, the AC Milan player, then transformed the penalty, made it 1-1. And for half an hour, everybody thought that it was going to go to extra time. Until that one Cristiano Ronaldo came back. Eventually Cristiano just decided, I don't want to go to extra time. I'm just going to score two more goals. And that he did in like, I don't know, three, four minutes. The first one was a brilliant counter-attack from Portugal. A pass to the right wing. The right wing gave it back to Ronaldo on the edge of the 16-yard box. And he fired it in with cold blood. Then in the 89th minute, there was a stupid, uh, really stupid mistake by Chaka, who failed a pretty simple pass. He just gave it to the opposition. He got three passes, a one long ball to Ronaldo. He did his little step overs, shot to the far post, in. That's it. 3 1, 90th minute. There's nothing you can do. And the day after, again, the second semi final in Gimaraes between England and Netherlands. England started the game very well, being awarded a penalty by De Ligt in the 20th minute I think it was fully deserved penalty of course nothing wrong there Marcus Rashford converted it was 1-0 for England they started playing better after that but in the second half the Leeds came again on, on the same goal but uh, he scored a goal for the Netherlands after that equalizer the Netherlands started to play better and better they still had their chances England started to get really tired because they obviously had many players in the two European club finals in the Champions League and the Europa League but with that you probably can tell that they really didn't give a crap about the Nations League especially after what followed in the extra time yeah, basically in extra time England just scored two own goals one of them w really was an own goal one of the Dutch players was 1-on-1 -on -one against Pickford. He somehow missed, although he had like 70% of the goal open. And he came back to another Dutch player who would have missed with the same amount of goal open. Like 70-80% to 80 of the goal open. He would have missed. He would have shot away from the goal. But uh, fortunately for him, I think it was Carl Walker who stepped a foot between it and it caused the ball to go into the goal. After that, in the second half of extra time, England had a throw in, threw it back to, to Cal Walker, I think. Yeah, then a little pass to the 16 yard box. A pass back to the goalkeeper, but he didn't notice that right next to the goalkeeper was a Dutch player who squared it to the 6 yard box. Easy tap in, 3 1, no lens. That's it. So on Sunday afternoon, Guimaraes, England versus Switzerland, was a pretty equal match. England had a little the upper hand, they hit the post three times, one was by Switzerland, but you know, <laughs> they were used to own goals from the semi-final, England that is. Switzerland were mostly held in the game by their brilliant goalkeeper Jan Sommer, but even he didn't stand a chance at the penalty shootout. Well, basically at the penalties, Almost every single shooter took it perfectly and it, therefore it was 5-5 after the first 10 shots. 6-1 was converted by England, so Switzerland had to score to stay in the game. But after a little Zaza-like run-up, Pickford held. England 
won their second penalty shootout in a row, which is pretty impressive. In the grand final in Porto, Portugal had of course the upper hand because they were the host and they had Ronaldo. Even though the Netherlands have world class defenders, it was really hard. Surprisingly though, Ronaldo didn't have much to do in that match. Probably because the Dutch defense concentrated on him and he really didn't have any chance in that match. Nevertheless, Portugal had the upper hand, I mean they still had 10 other players to score goals. And they did after an hour or so to Gredes. Netherlands didn't have any chance either. So they must have really been concentrating on Ronaldo. After that goal though, the Dutch started playing football. It's like they had planned to give Portugal the 1-0 lead at some point. But it came a little late, they couldn't score the equalizer. The match ended. Portugal are the first official winners of the Nations League. Congratulations to them. It, was a, it is a really beautiful trophy to have in your cabinet. I don't know what I can say about it. From my point of view, it was fully deserved, especially in these final four matches. It was really entertaining. I hope it comes back in 2020 with just as much passion. If you need something else to watch though, check out my other channel, Football A to Z, in which I cover every single footballing nation from A to Z, like the name says. Leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it. See you next time when the Nations League comes around. Bye bye.